Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Harlem Eubank and Mr Chris Eubank Senior today. Joining forces and joining the team with Harlem Eubank starting in just 10 days time down in Brighton. How excited are you for what is, is on the horizon now? Uh, I'm, I'm always excited when it comes to my nephew and boxing. I mean, I'm always excited when talking about boxing. Now, you know, uh, you know it doesn't start on the 10th. It started 11 years ago. Yeah, his career started 11 years ago. So, you know, uh, so he's been in the gym for 11 years. This is the life he's chosen. You know, he's not a playboy. Okay, he hasn't been doing this part time. So, you know, it's only when, you know, the viewers can understand when someone actually gives up their life for a vocation uh, that they then can see the uh, severity of. Uh, you know, this is what people think is just simple entertainment because there are a couple of people shouting this and that and they're shouting, you know, we can do this and I can hit you and I can beat you and I can scare you and I... It's nonsense. You know, this is the real deal. So hear it from him. Uh, hear a little bit about what he's been through the last 11 years and then you can come back to me. Harlem, you, your uncle there talks about what you've been through the last decade or so. Where do you feel you are in your career at the moment and how much hard work can you put into words has, has gone into where you are now in your career? 11 years of blood, sweat and tears. That's what I've put into this craft. I've been learning it. I've been in the fire. I've been in the gym. I've been putting myself through it. Um, I've done it the old school way and I'm in a position now where I'm a contender and I'm ready for the, the big fights in the division domestically and then beyond that um, abroad as well America there's a lot of champions this is one of the most exciting divisions um, globally so can I just uh, interject uh, who, so if we, let's cut to the chase mm. who, you know who do we really want because we, we can talk about the people who have the championships but you know there's something that needs to be cleaned up cleaned up and what is that domestically uh, that's Conor Ben if he wants it, um, because after this fight, I'm 156 pounds today, and um, I'll make the weight next week. But beyond that, I can see myself competing at 147 pounds, and if Conor is competing at that division, because you know, above that is is fantasy. Uh, we see his performance at 154 and. He's a credible threat, 147 pounds. That's where he belongs, and that is where I will belong. So um, that's the credible fight to make. Uh, and so there's bad blood from that point of view. This is the right weight. Fight someone your own size, is what is what Harlem is saying to you, Connor. Fight someone your own size. And who wants to have it with you? I mean, let's have it right. I think that's the language he understands, right? I think so. That's the, uh, the Cockney slang. But we're here and we're ready. Uh, he tried to boil my cousin down to 157 pounds. Um, this is a real fight. Um, I'm a, a contender, 147. That'll be my new weight class, and that's the fight we want first. Do you believe that is achievable following next Friday, and that could be in the offing as soon as early next year? Why not? Why, why not? Can someone show me why, why it can't happen? You know, unless he needs to... Well, no, he has everything he needs. All the father wants, you see, is a win over the Eubank name. And the only person who can give him that win because he's never been able to beat me at anything. The only way he can get a win over my name is through another Eubank at the correct weight. Not trying to boil him down to a weight where you, you're going to kill my boy. Okay, this is the gold. I don't call him golden boy. I call him the gold because when it comes to skill, uh, he's beautiful. And, uh, you know, he's, he doesn't bark. And he doesn't growl like Nigel and his son. You know, he, he's, he's not aggressive. He's sweet. You know, and, you know, as he was saying to me earlier, if you can do what you did to his father, then I can do what I can do to his son. And that seems to me to be fair. So let's have it right. Let me just say that again. So let's have it right. Let's have it right. <laughs> You know, Jimmy Timms will understand that. Let's have it right, mate. 
and Harlem for yourself. How long has that fight been in your mind? How long mentally have you been working up to a fight with Conor Ben and, and how much do you look forward to something like that? I started the sport to become world champion. Um, that's first and foremost at the front of my mind. Um, when I turned professional, I realized Conor was around a similar weight class, so we both knew we both knew that the the fight was was going to come around, and we were both going to collide paths um, on route to becoming world champion. So, should it come now, that's the fight I want before I go on to go ahead. before I go on to conquer um, that world title dream. I, I would like to just make this point, you know, Connor. There's one thing you're going to have to do, which is you have to abide by the rules. The rules are set by the British Boxing Board of Control. You cannot escape them. You cannot have a career without them. Okay, no matter what anybody else has put into your mind about them, you cannot bypass them. And if you do, you cannot have any credibility for all the work you've put in throughout all these years you've been in the gym. You cannot have credibility. You can only enjoy your career if you follow the rules set by the police of boxing, the Metropolitan Police of Boxing, the British Boxing Board of Control. Abide by their rules, and then, then we can have it right. And he's the man to put it right. Only this man is the man to fight. He's the Eubank uh, to, to, to try and get past. That's the only way your father is going to get uh, uh, anything over my name, and uh, and I don't think it's possible. I believe in I believe in in my in my son, yes, my nephew, my son. I believe in him. I believe in the gold. That's right. You say, son, uh, working with family, in all disciplines, sometimes cannot be easy. Do you believe this is an easy relationship? And it's if he doesn't listen, it's going to be very hard because I'll walk away. You know, if he doesn't listen, you know, Junior wanted to do it his own way, so go and swim with the sharks. I, I can't do anything about what you're doing. You're your own man. You're 34 years old. But this young man is listening. And he's obedient. He's obedient. A word that doesn't upset him. How come that word seems to upset so many uh, children uh, uh, when speaking of their pet? Be obedient to your children. Sorry. Children, be obedient to your, to your parents. Be obedient, because then they can give you their wisdom so that you don't have to go out there and learn the hard way like they had to learn. So he's listening. And so therefore, if he is listening, then, uh, yeah, you, 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 better, you better buckle up. Final one. Final one to you, Harlem. Just... 10 days or so now until you're back in the ring. Just tell us what's going to happen and what we've got on the horizon for yourself. I'm ready now, ready to inflict damage, ready to go in that ring and show the people what I've been, what I've been doing and, and put on an emphatic display. Chris, Harlem, thank you very much for your time.